With Colorado returning to the Big 12 in 2024, it renews a long rivalry with Iowa State. But their most memorable matchup had little to do with the actual game itself. Local 5's Jake Brand has more. On November 12, 2005, Jack Trice Stadium was under a weather delay, but not just any weather delay. Local 5 meteorologist Chris Kubal was there as a fan. I was walking to the football game with my dad and the tornado warning was issued. Sirens started going off and I looked over to the side and dad, there's the tornado and there it was. It was moving quick. Eight tornadoes broke out that day in seven central Iowa counties and while the worst of the damage came in Woodward, an EF2 tornado went northwest of Ames just miles away from Jack Trice Stadium. Luckily, it wasn't as bad as it could have been. If it was right over the stadium, we're looking at mass, mass casualty or a minimum mass injury type of a scenario just with tens of thousands of people out in the middle of nowhere with nowhere to go. You know, it's a scary thing. It would have been national news and uh, talked about and studied about in the weather feel like how can we prevent this from happening again? Luckily, it wasn't mass chaos. The game still kicked off just 30 minutes late. The cyclones, you know, cyclone, tornado, kind of used synonymously. Uh, so it's kind of like it brought the energy to the start of the game. ISU used that energy to battle 40 mile per hour wind gusts and beat number 22 Colorado 30 to 16 to stay alive for the Big 12 North title. Colorado could return to Ames as soon as next year, but whenever that day is, let's hope for no tornadoes in November.